Hey everybody, Freddy here with another video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Azure point to site VPN service with Active Directory authentication and a custom DNS server for the clients. This is not a video on what is VPN. I'm assuming that if you're watching this video is because you want instructions on how to set up the service. So let's get to it. Once you log into the portal, the first thing you're going to do following our design here is we're going to create this VPN test VNet. So go to virtual networks, create, select the rice resource group, give it a name, select the region and then IP addresses. I already have a, a, a virtual net that is using the one. So I'm going to select this one with the two. And I'm going to erase this default subnet that is trying to create. And I'm going to say add. I'm going to give it a VPN test subnet. No space. And 10.2.1.0 slash 24. No gateway and click add. So, okay. So that creates the VNet and that creates the VPN subnet. Next security, we're not going to change anything here. Tags, we're not going to add anything. Next, create, create. Go to resource once it finishes. Go to subnets. You should see your VPN test subnet. Now here you can add a gateway subnet. Click on gateway subnet. It's automatically going to pick that 10. 2.0.0 slash 24. That's fine. You can change it to a slash 25 if you want. And we're not going to change anything here. So we're going to click on save. Now we have a VPN test subnet, which is a 10.2.1.0 and a 10.2.0.0 slash 25. So we have our two subnets here. And now we're ready to add the VPN. Go to home, click on virtual network gateway, click create, give it a name. Select the region. VP it's going to be a VPN. The VPN type is going to be route based. Uh, the SKU we're going to use is uh, VPN gateway one. This is the one that allows Active Directory authentication. The basic does not allow that. Click on that. Virtual network is going to be the VPN test that we created. The subnet is automatically picked up because we created a gateway subnet. The public IP address type is going to be standard. It's going to be an IP address that is going to be created. So create new and we have to give it a name. So we're going to call it VPN test IP or we can call it public IP. It's going to be standard, um, enable active active mode, disabled since um, it's only going to be for VPN and configure BGP. We're not going to configure BGP at this point. Tags, we're not going to do any tags. Review and create and create. This can take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. Once the virtual gateway is created, go to virtual gateway, click on the gateway, click on point to site configuration. Here you have to give the point to site configuration an IP address pool. As you can see in the diagram is 10.2.1.0.24. So that's what this is here. The tunnel type is going to be open VPN SSL. The authentication is going to be Active Directory. Once you select Active Directory, you're going, you are going to be asked for the tenant ID. The tenant ID is found under the Active Directory tab. So I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to go to a different tab and I'm going to go to Azure Active Directory. Here is your tenant ID. You can just copy this. 
I usually put it on a notepad so I can reuse it again. The rest of this link here, the HTTPS login.microsoftonline.com is the same for everybody. So you can just use the, that and, and go ahead and put your tenant ID at the end of that. Okay, the issuer here is the stswindow.net Again, that's the same for everybody. And then you put your tenant ID. The only difference with the issuer is that it must have a forward slash at the end of the tenant ID. The audience itself is the same one, which you will find in the description of this video. How do you get this audience is my next topic. The tenant ID is the Azure VPN in, a, in the Active Directory in Azure. So in order to do that, the Azure VPN must be registered with the Active Directory. From the checklist, item number one was create an account with global admin permissions. This is where you're going to need that account to be able to register this app enterprise application. Uh, look at the link that I put in the, in the description of this video. You can copy that and you can type that in a new window. log in as the as the global admin account if you have authenticator enabled it's going to ask you to approve the application right here is going to ask you to allow this in your organization again this is the reason why you need a an admin account a global admin account you can accept this select the global admin account and you are done once you're done with this, then you can click on Azure Active Directory, go to Enterprise Applications. You will see Azure VPN here. Click on that. You have an application ID. This application ID is the one that you will need here under the audience. As you can see, that is the exact same thing. The audience is the application ID of the of this application. You set that up and you click save. Once you click on save and everything is created, the next thing is to set up the client. In order for you to set up the client, you must download the VPN client, this right here. This VPN client is not really the EXE that you need to install the client. What it is, is an XML file that contains the configuration that the client needs. So it gives you a zip file. You open it up. And once you do that, then under Azure VPN, you will have an Azure VPN config. This is an XML document that contains the configuration that we are going to use for our Azure VPN client. So let's set up the VPN client. To install the client, open the Microsoft App Store, look for Azure VPN client. I already have it installed. If you don't have it installed, click Install. If you already have it installed, click Open. This will open up the client. Click on the plus sign, click import. Go to the VPN test folder, Azure VPN, Azure VPN config, accept or save. This is all the information that you enter. And that's it. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on connect. You're gonna be asked to log in. This is where you use the second account that you created the non-global admin, although you can use the global admin account, but it's re it is recommended that you don't use the global admin account, that you, you, that you set up a regular user account. So click on that account, continue. Once you log into the client, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the DNS. How is the DNS set up? We're gonna go and open a PowerShell window 
and we are going to type the following command get DNS client NRPT policy. I'm going to put this in the description of this video. So you press enter. And as you can see here, name servers are blank. What that means is that it's going to use whatever your client is set up to, to use. So I'm not using the, the DNS server that is in my VNet. So what I need to do is I need to go to my VNet. So go to Azure Virtual Networks, go to the VNet, go into the DNS server section on the left hand side and click on custom. My DNS server is, the IP address is 10.1.1.5. I'm going to copy this, go back to the DNS under the VPN, under the VNet and just paste that here and click save. So I'm, I'm telling my whole VNet to use this DNS server. I go back to my client, my Azure client, I disconnect and I click connect. I'm already authenticated, so it's not going to ask me to re-authenticate. Now, if you notice, it says VPN DNS server. Now it has the IP address that I added for the DNS. If I go to my PowerShell and I use the same command, now I have information about my name server. And that's it. <clears throat> Your configuration is done. And now you have a point to site configuration on Azure with a custom DNS server. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This is still a relatively new channel, so I'm still building up my audience. So come on, join me. And until the next one, take care.